Hi, my name is Marietta Mahani and this week's aqua tip we're using the noodle and I have a nice little combination for you. It's just little but you might like to implement it into your class. Chainsaw guy, hope is not interrupting this aqua tip too much. Now what we're, <laughs> what we're going to do is grab the noodle at thirds and we're going to start with the classic what I call rock and roll. So feet together, pull through to the front, pull through to the back, pull through to the front, pull through to the back. Right, so we all know this one, it's familiar. I've talked about this in previous aqua tips about how you have to push yourself in and out to move at a reasonable pace for it to be considered effective in the water. Now, once your clients obviously know how to do that, then you add the wide leg action to it. So instead of pulling the knees in and out, we have the legs opening out to the side and we're just pulling the noodle in and out the same way we were before. So pull and you sweep out. And the reason why it's a good idea to do the rock and roll first is that's easy to demonstrate than this, than this open leg action. So once they understand how to go forwards and back and then you say open your legs out as you go around, it's much easier. Ah, there's always method to my madness. Then we add something to this. So we go to the front, we go one, two, three, open out, one, two, three, pull in, one, two, three, open out, one, two, three, pull in, one, two, three, open out, one, two, three, pull back, one, two, three, and open out, one, two, three. So the noodle really acts as a form of buoyancy to help us create that motion. Where I'm feeling it the most is in my inner thighs. Inner thighs are getting a good workout with those really quick ones and they need to be quick otherwise the inner thighs will not feel it. So make sure that you go quick, 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 open out. Quick, 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 behind, bring it through again. It's a great little combination and I, I do suggest that you teach it in that order because it makes it much easier when you're on deck to try and explain what the legs are doing because you'll basically be needing your arms more than anything else to demonstrate the big swing through with the legs and then you'll show what you want them to do with your arms representing their legs when you're on pool deck. So just one more time, starting with the rock and roll and then once you've performed the rock and roll a few times, start going into that wide leg action. Whoa. And then once you've done the wide leg action, one, two, three, oh. one, two, three, oh. one, two, three, oh. one, two, three, okay. And that is this week's aqua tip. As I alluded to in the pool, this is not an easy exercise to demonstrate on land. And that's why the rock and roll motion, which most of your clients will be familiar with, is a good place to begin. Holding onto the noodle, and I talk about holding the thirds of the noodle, we're going to take the legs to the front, bring the noodle in, and then flipping over, and I like to use a chair for this, turn side on to the class. So the legs go forwards, flip over onto your tummy, push your legs out to the back, Bring your legs back in, kick forwards, go onto your tummy, legs go back, and then go forwards. So it's as simple as that. You do need a little bit of lower body strength because you have to bring yourself back. Then you say do the same motion, but now take your legs out wide. We go forwards, so you'll bring your feet together, then you'll take your legs out wide and bring your feet together a chair is necessary. Feet here, legs out wide, feet together behind, come through, legs in front. A little bit of core strength, a little bit of upper body strength. To demonstrate the little jack action, all right, in front is easy, to the back it's harder. So start 
by going, we're going to go, uh, I would say here, say, okay, now bring your legs around to the front and go one, two, three. Open your legs out behind and go one, two, three. Take your legs around to the front, one, two, three. Open your legs out to the back, one, two, three. I feel like one of those Instagram or TikTok videos when they're doing the jumping jacks while they do the push-ups. That's what it feels like. Except you've got this underneath your hands, which makes it more challenging, but it's doable. Do it side on to your class so they can see what's going on behind you and what's going on in front of you. Clearly the chair plays an incredibly important role for this particular demonstration. And then you can get up and demonstrate with your arms. But I think if you can demonstrate the totality of that exercise, you're going to go a long way to being able to successfully teach this move. And that is this week's Aqua Tip.